much more efficient than, than elections are actually. So to summarize, uh, there's basically no perfect solution <coughs> to figure out the information we need to determine what externalities are. Scientific and technical studies play a really important role because usually the scientists involved have pretty good incentives and we're able to incorporate a lot of expert information. But the problem with it is that it leaves out a lot of the subjective and private information that we were talking about. Contingent valuation surveys try to incorporate this private information, but do it in a pretty terrible way and, and aren't very reliable. The VCG mechanism is simple and powerful and robustly gives people individual incentives to reveal the right type of information, but in practice it's a bit of a disaster. Um, the expected externality mechanism is much more practically useful when you can do it, but there's a basic problem of figuring out how do we get people to, how do we figure out what the expected externalities are. That just asks another informational problem. So the truth is that in practice, we, we're going to have to combine all of these approaches to try to make something work. Um, and in fact, we should also be open to less clean alternatives which are less clearly efficient, things like voting. Because as we were talking about earlier, Ben, in voting, people can't say these extreme things like I value it a huge amount or a little amount. They just say, well, I like this or I don't. And even though that's not going to give us efficiency, it's not going to see the total amount in favor and against. It's just going to see how many people are in favor or against. It might still be better than the alternatives that are available to us. Um, great, and good luck with the problem set. See you on Tuesday. <laughs>